possibilities. They're aware of all the variables. I'm I'm a thinker. I think a yes. lot. Yes, yeah. I analyze. I think a lot. I mean, it's good because it's prepared you very well and it's made you this incredible martial artist. Mm. But it's also it creates a lot of anxiety because you're aware of all the possibilities. Whereas a person who doesn't think that much, is just I'm just going to go in there and fuck people up. Like that person might have an easier path to fight, but they might also have a shorter limited potential. Absolutely. Because they're not aware of all the possibilities and they're not aware of all their flaws and all not aware of all their strengths and weaknesses they just know what they've done that's worked and they just keep doing that and instead of developing this incredibly well-rounded game they have a very very uh limited game mm. but that limited game works on some people i agree it's 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 this sport the, the, the sport in general it's kind it's kind of not fair when you look at it like you look at demetrius johnson is probably right now the best ever the best ever yeah i agree like man when i talk about Confidence and and skills, man. Yeah. What is the better guy than this? I, I, what better guy than this? Yeah. Dominic Cruz, freaking yeah. amazing, uh, man. TJ Dillashaw. That's one fight. Look, I don't watch every fight. Okay, I don't watch every fight because I'm not a fan of every fighter. But if there's a fight that I will pay my own ticket to sit in front and fly myself, is Dominic, uh, uh, Dimitris Johnson against TJ Dillashaw. Absolutely. I, I, man, it has to be done. This is it has to be done. Crazy. I agree. I, agree. I don't, there is always things and factor that we don't know mm -hmm. why it doesn't happen. Maybe we don't know everything, unfortunately. And, um, yeah, like, like back in the day, me and Anderson Silva, it's a lot of things. Why it didn't happen? Is there stuff that people don't know that, that, that back in the day I thought and, and I wanted to take care of and it didn't happen. But there, there's this fight, man, is just crazy, man. Sometimes it's sad in the sport. Like, like you, you have a fight like Mayweather, Mayweather uh, Pacquiao, and it, it did not happen. Yeah. It sucked, but it is what it is, you know? Well, I think that Demetrius wants... TJ Dillashaw to fight once at 125 pounds. Show that he can make the weight. Especially when he's dealing with this incredibly long win streak. He's defended his title more than any other champion ever. So he doesn't want someone to come along and break his the, win the, streak the, that doesn't even make yeah, the but weight. The, the, this, as a... I, mm -hmm. I have thought about this because I've been mm -hmm. in a similar situation. Before. Yeah. This is a way to take care of this. With the lawyers, you write in the contract that if you don't make weight, there's no fight. Yeah. And the purse... You make the guy paying you a purse, not the UFC. Dillashaw would take the mm. purse, give the purse. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I do. But You I need think... to be game enough to do it. It's a freaking risk. Yeah. Yeah. But I think Demetrius is worried that the UFC will pressure him into fighting TJ, even if TJ doesn't make the weight. So if TJ misses For sure. Weight, for sure. Yeah. It will make him look bad in terms of with yeah. the fan base and his brand. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. However, he can make it through the lawyer, to the... If it's that much weight difference, there is no fight. Right. You know, there's always fights, man. Joe, there's something I've learned. Fight can be negotiated the way you want. I can negotiate a fight, like depending the the laws. Okay, I want you to wear pink uh, speedos when I fight you. It's in the contract. You have to wear a pink speedo. <laughs> I want you to wear this uh, mm. or or any yeah. like a uh, fifth round or if it's it, everything could be done if it's written and 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 by the law uh, agreed. Yeah. It could be worked out. I don't think Demetrius. I hope thinks, it will be worked I out, man. I'm saying too. this, guys. Let's do it, man. Let's go. Well, I think right now the rematch is set for Cody Garbrandt versus TJ Dillashaw, and Mighty Mouse just went through shoulder surgery. Yeah. yeah so yeah. he's rehabilitating his shoulder. That's going to take quite a while. And then there's Dominic, Dominic Cruz to win mm -hmm. the mix, man. Yep. He's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he's amazing. I like to watch him a lot. Yeah. There's a Shit. lot of talent. There's a lot of talent in the, the UFC right now. The, the, the smaller guy are so much better than the bigger guy. Like I'm yeah. telling you the truth. Like like uh, if I would have the same size as this guy, man, I I don't want to fight this guy, man. I would, <laughs> they would beat the shit out of me. Like no, man. Well, they don't have gravity fucking with them. Like I agree. You. They don't yeah. have the gravity. They don't have the size. Yeah. But they're so good, man. It's so good to watch them. Yeah. Man. I'm learn. I'm learning a lot. I watch a lot more of these guys than than in terms of for learning. Yeah. Man, how beautiful was that on bar that. Demetrius Johnson Crazy. did a ah, shit man. It slammed to a, like slammed to the armbar in the air. And he I told practice me he it now. That. I practice it now. I've been training. <laughs> Do you? you yeah, practice I've it? learned. I learned yeah. from these guy, man. I, I learned from a lot of these guys. Yeah. DJ De La Show, he switch, man, every time. He's Constantly changing. Switching. That's beautiful. Yeah. Dominic Cruz, man, his footwork, man, it's Have insane. Have you ever trained with uh, Dwayne Ludwig? 
long time ago, yes. I, yeah. I, I have a spar. We, we train uh, when I was in Denver helping Nathan Marquardt for a fight. I spar, uh, man, it was crazy. I spar with Dwayne, Nate. Shane Carwin too. Oh my you god! With Shane Carwin? Yeah, man, that was not smart, but I did. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah, yeah, that was not smart. That was back in the day. Maybe I, I, I should have been smarter. His hand is as big as your head. Thanks God, I didn't get hurt. But oh my God, it, it was yeah. At one point, I remember in, in a training, he, he, he was in ground and pound with another guy that is like a light everywhere. He knock him out. Yeah. He's a big. Motherfucker. He's a big monster. But that, that was stupid of my part. When I, when you're young, you do stupid shit. I yeah. should not have done it. Yeah. Fuck that, huh? Yeah. What, what did he weigh back then? He weighs he, me or, or him? Him. Like the same. Uh, uh, Carwin is maybe like two seventy. Yeah, he's a big guy. Fucking huge. No, I know it. That was stupid, but I did it, and then uh, you know, <laughs> you move, man. You gotta fucking move. <laughs> you gotta fucking move. Yeah, man. Hit, <laughs> yeah, like hit and run, man. Hit yeah. and run. Don't try to stand in the pocket with this guy. Mm -hmm. And if you go for a takedown, you you go in and out and then yeah. quick, man. Holy yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah, your timing has to be perfect. Yeah. Fuck that. You only one round? Yeah, one round. Whew. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> as far as far as we, we went with everybody, you know, like, right. and there, there's this thing.